Let me tell you a story. No, Daddy, you almost ate them. And then he goes, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. You laughs in Australian. What you doing here, Mike? But, Daddy, they're in the ocean. Where else are fish supposed to be? Interesting question, my child. So Bruce tells them, follow me, and invites them to a party with a bunch of other sharks. Marlon's terrified, but never judge a book by its cover because these are nice, friendly sharks. Fish are friends, not food. Exactly. So the sharks are busy making fun of dolphins. But, Daddy, do sharks make fun of killer whales? Nothing makes fun of killer whales. Killer whales are badass. They are the honey badgers of the open sea. So the little green fish quickly escapes the shark cult and Bruce starts to pledge and Dory goes up and says that she's never eaten a fish. Just like your daddy! But daddy, fish is delicious. Ew. So while Marlin gets his turn to speak, he notices the diver's mask and tells him that his son was taken. Never knew my father! <laughs> Marlon and Dory fight over the mask and Dory gets hurt. Bruce smells the blood and he's like... Oh no! Bruce is going crazy chasing them through the ship, left, right, center. Marlon and Dory trap themselves inside of a room. But this crackhead shark starts repeatedly banging his head against the steel door. Marlon and Dory are trying to find a way to escape. Stop it. Bruce is relentless. He'll stop it. Nothing. He chases them around the ship and into a torpedo launcher thingy. <gasps> How are they going to get out, Daddy? Easy. Dory releases the torpedo and Bruce catches it and throws it away and it lands against the sea mine and boom. Oh, wow. Dory is awesome, Daddy. She can read and operate military equipment. Yes. Could I ask you to do something for me? You don't have to, but if you say you're the biggest Finding Nemo fan 